I know absolutely nothing about the game, but <laughs> Twitch has it listed as a rhythm game, so sure. Maybe it's some sort of rhythm game. That'd be cool, I guess. Uh, did it change the memory card successfully? It did. Awesome. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. It's very handy, man. I freaking love that feature. I wish it was possible to use it without booting into Free McBoot first, but other than having a uh, extra splash screen pop up whenever whenever you like first turn on the PS2, other than that, it like literally doesn't do anything different though. Like, cause I disabled everything <laughs> on that memory card. Um, like as far as you know, the unique OSD and and all the extra options and all that BS. So. Like, yeah, it's fine. Like, honestly, chances are you guys would never even know if I didn't say anything. <laughs> like, because it shouldn't, and technically, it literally shouldn't change anything. Like, as far as how the games work. Uh, any options? Probably nothing that we care about. Music and sound effects, controls should be fine. Wait, what was that? Player one? Oh, vibration. Okay. If that's all of the options that you have, why even split it into two different menus, you know? Like, music sound effects, clear on this other screen here, and then controls are in the same screen? That's so sloppy. It's like they meant to have more or something, and then just never got around to adding them. But you totally could have just had the whole two volume sliders up here, and then the do you want vibration or not below it. You definitely did not need three different screens for those three options. <laughs> A little ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, memory card slot one. No slave slave data. No save data found. Let's create one. Um, if we ever do have problems with the memory card for some reason, I do have the one that I've been using before I got this one in the second slot. So, like, it's there. It's still an option. But we shouldn't have any sort of issues. As far as the PS2 is concerned, this should just be an official regular memory card. So, like, yeah. The PS2 shouldn't be able to tell the difference in any way. It's just super convenient for us, that's all. Enter Bronze Story Challenge. You're about to enter Bronze Story Challenge. Okay. How many human players? Just one. I'm the only human. Okay, start. Ah, we get a P we get a we get to pick different characters. Um I mean probably just SpongeBob, yeah, unless people have like a different preference. SpongeBob, Krabs, Patrick, Plankton, Sandy, and uh, Squidward. I mean, I am a little tempted to play Skip Squidward because, like, let's be honest, man. The older we all get, the more we all become Squidward. But, like, <laughs> so I'm a little tempted to go that way, but, like, you know. Facts, right? Gary would have been cool, but, yeah, no Gary option, sadly. Maybe it's an unlockable character. Probably not. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. I've never played the game before. I don't know what's going on here. Ah! Rearranging my desk a little bit. So I can get, like, super comfy. There we go. Susmobile, what's up, man? Welcome to chat. You had this game for GameCube? I've never played it before now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I have no idea what we're getting into, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't even look at, like, the manual or anything, so, <laughs> could end up being good, could end up being terrible. We'll find out. Silly, normal, or smart? I mean, I guess just normal. That's a neat way to have, like, the difficulty settings, though. Very, uh, Spongebob-esque, I guess. Gotta have at least one villain in here, right? One bad guy? It's basically Spongebob Mario par Party, but just the minigames. Okay, okay, okay. I always, like, wish whenever people would do the, the minigame collections, because, like, Crash did it too, right? <clears throat> that they would do the whole thing with the game board and everything. Because I really like having the board. Okay, 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 yes, sir. The plants are all in place. I I'm down at the Mermelayer set now, and I am confident we have found... Why does his voice sound so familiar? Yes, sir. I'm aware how important the I mean, it's a Nickelodeon game, so it's probably like a voice actor for another cartoon or whatever, but maybe even a SpongeBob voice actor of some sort. See how they do in the three scenes, and the one that performs the best will get the part. 
Yes, sir. And the most popular I've definitely heard this voice somewhere before, though. Super villain role. Hmm. Okay. Are we like auditioning to be in an episode of um? Oh, somebody tell me I can't remember their name. The superheroes, like. It's usually a story mode, but I also know the cheat code to open every mini game from the start. Very nice. Yeah, story mode is what we hopped into. Remember when games had actual cheat codes? Yeah, we explore them every once in a while. I very often forget to give them a try, but uh, one of the regulars, Chocobo enthusiast he brings them up all the time and um then like once we get bored with the game we'll, we'll try him out just to screw around with it <clears throat> mermaid man and barnacle boy yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you memory doesn't always work so great me too so how is that high fat high carb thing working out for you anyway fine thank you very much anywho just make sure you sort the good from the bad. Of course I will. That's why you chose me. Right. I'll be waiting. Yeah, subtitles would be fantastic, man. But <clears throat> sadly, it wasn't until, like, the PS4 that basically every game came with subtitles. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I was choking earlier, man, but... Oh, there's some some stuff in there that just will not come out. Flipping out, flip Krabby Patties to your teammate. Catch Krabby Patties that come to you, throwing them to waiting customers. Green Chum Bucket Patties are bad. Flip them away. Square or circle to reject. X to remove ash. Okay. And then flip is X and a direction. I mean, oh, it even has the reverse option. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Wait, uh, uh, okay. Okay, so you have to catch and flip. Oh, this is... This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, no! Ah, that was, that was so stupid. I'm really glad that we, uh... That we decided to rehearse this, like... Because, yeah. <laughs> I would not have understood what the hell was going on otherwise. I don't know. Is that a green chum bucket patty? The... The ones with, like, the, the spider... Spider-esque? Ten patty combo? I'm assuming that's a good thing. Okay, so we lost, but it was just... Oh! Oh no, it's just speeding up. Okay. It's not over yet. Oh, and I just saw that, like, one of them was a little bit burnt. It looks like we got less points for it. So I'm guessing, like... Like, if you overcook them, they don't always turn to ash. But then they, they're they not worth as many points, though. Can we just, like, whenever the, the bad patties show up, can we just not do anything with them? Can we just leave them on the grill, or, like... Why is Spongebob letting all these patties burn, bro? thought he was like the greatest gr greatest grill chef to ever to ever live. Just press the button to flip, you don't need to also move. Wait. Okay. Yeah, you gotta move like from spot to spot, but yeah, you don't actually need to like pick a direction that you flip it in though. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to send that over there. I did realize that eventually, though. It's kind of neat that, like, it speeds up over time. I like that. That's a nice, nice mechanic. Oh, no! I burnt one! Oh, you dick, SpongeBob. Why'd you send me that? Wait. Did, did it jump over there itself? Or is it, like...
I'm so confused how that one ended up over there. I was in, like purposefully ignoring it, trying not to send it. Yeah, it seems like they send themselves over, at least here in the like higher difficulty or whatever. Holy heck, this is whack. Yeah, you just got back. You forgot about this game. Wait, did we have this game or something growing up? Did we play it? I, I've never personally, I've never played it, but you can just let the nasty patties burn, but then they take up a grill slot until they despawn. It's the best to trash them. Yeah, and then there at the end, they uh they started like hopping over on their own too. So I think it's like some sort of weird difficulty thing or something as time goes on. Anyways, okay, we'll do it for real this time and hope for the best, I guess. Flip and catch. We got this. Bruh. <laughs> Already screwing up. GG me. I'm like so used to the, the high speed one now that I'm, I'm thinking like everything's gonna happen so fast. But it doesn't. I'm just gonna let it despawn, it's fine. Oh no, okay. So it did send itself over either way. All right, so yeah, it seems like, seems like we might as well kick them over and then it's just up to, to us or to SpongeBob to not catch them when they come over. Why? 20 combo, let's go. Is that for like, oh no. I th did we catch it? I think we did. Perfect round? Bruh. Oh, well. <laughs> there goes our perfect bonus. I don't think we're getting another one, man. Oh, SpongeBob's doing good, though. He got a 20 patty combo. Maybe he can get a perfect patty bonus this time. No, 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 no. Oh, you dick. I wonder if you, for the perfect patty bonus, if you have to catch and throw them. Like, all of them without missing, or if it's just, you know, throw all of them without missing any. Ah, uh, but we're, we're definitely winning. Thanks in no small part to that, to that bonus, like... Oh my god, Spongebob, get away from the evil patties, man. I mean, it's actually super hectic right now. I can't blame him. Sometimes it's kind of hard to like, I don't know. It just kind of eats your input sometimes and you don't move to the side. It's just like some sort of weird delay or something. I don't know. No, 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 no. They don't need to be getting perfect bonuses and things. How are they getting, like, the perfect bonuses now, though, with how much faster, how much worse it is? Yeah, I take back what I said about the, the initial mode being too slow. No, it's it's fine. We we can go back to that. Oh, did we win? Oh yeah, by a lot actually, like 500 points almost. Let's go, dude. Uh, sure, save. Why not? Bro, I don't know why I don't remember this game like at all. Also, I just realized my time got desynced at some point oh you know what i did like very shortly unplug my ps2 yesterday whatever i was messing around with the new memory card so i must have like screwed up the clock whenever i did that i'll try to remember to fix it at some point but not that big of a deal anyways not like i go in and fix it for daylight savings times and all that yeah they're making and delivering food to hungry customers oh no remember and take order Memory is not my strong suit, man. Move to the counter and repeat the combination. Okay. 
We'll go ahead and rehearse once, but like I think we got this. Oh, I suppose so. Wait. Purple circle Your square. How do I how do I know which is which? Yes, your highness. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, we were reading the directions for for over there. Does it matter like if we do it in the right order or not? Probably. Just a drink? Colt, what's up, man? Welcome. Slap ready. If you say so. Some fries and a little drink. Oh, I suppose so. Order up. Come on, and you and burger. Oh. Fries. And another burger. It's my kind of order right there. Oh wait, does it need to be all the way full? I thought we just had to get it to like, into the green. No, it's gotta like, that arrow has to go all the way full. All right, well now that I know how to do it, it's not all that bad. Oh no, but we're swapping places. Okay. Uh, how do we, like, start taking someone's order? How do I... How do I... Oh, I see. Okay. I wonder, do you lose points for giving people the wrong order? What is the buzzer going off for? Who just orders two drinks, Order man? Up. Like no food. Oh shit, my bad. Whatever you say. I order you circle. We got this, bro. I mean, not this rehearsal round. This rehearsal round, we're screwed, but. I'm glad we don't actually have to remember it, though that would certainly make it more, you know, challenging if we did. But it kind of remembers the order for us right there in the corner. The biggest thing we have to do is remember the, the order that we took orders in. That's going to be, like, the hardest part, but it doesn't really seem to matter that much. You can kind of just throw them at whoever. Doing all right. You got the I Am Alive 120% world recently. Can't remember if you've mentioned that here or not. Maybe <laughs> you've definitely mentioned that you got the world uh, record for for one of the categories at least, but I can't remember. I think it was 120 percent, but you were talking about maybe trying to do 100 or any percent, I think. But memory not great. I could be misremembering that. Ah. Currently de-rusting in-game development stuff by learning Godot. Very cool. I've always considered checking out Godot myself, but never have. <laughs> um, maybe someday. I'm not completely writing Godot off, but yeah, just haven't felt like, haven't really felt the need to. Plus, like, I haven't done any serious game dev stuff in quite a while, or just dev stuff in general in a while, so like, yeah. So whatever, you know? <laughs> maybe someday. Honestly, the one thing I do want to do, like, right now is I want to make a, um... I want to make a Nintendo game, or a Game Boy game, but like actually in assembly, you know? One of these days, that's that's a goal for me. I mean, there are development tools that you can use, like full IDEs and stuff for doing that sort of thing. Um, or not even just IDEs, but like whole, whole engines, basically, with, you know, like art tools, uh, map editors, like 
music, everything kind of all rolled into one. So obviously doing it that way would be much... No, 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 no. Cancel? Okay. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Oh. Anyways, doing it that way obviously would be easiest, but I really want to just try assembly. You know, I've always been super interested in assembly. And that just seems like a decent way to screw around with it, basically. You tried Unity in the past, back before you switched to modding? That's the, the engine I generally use whenever I do do, like, stupid little projects. Like, I was doing... Was it monthly? I don't remember if it was monthly or weekly. Um, two-hour game dev challenges here on... Uh, I mean, I wasn't doing them, like, on Twitch, but I was letting subs mess around with them and help decide what I'd make and stuff like that. Just seeing, like, how much I could get done in two hours, basically. And, uh, that was a ton of fun, but I haven't done that in a while. Where's assembly goes? Do you know that different hardware architecture used? Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me, I know. <laughs> That's why I want to try something like the Nintendo instead of, you know, hopping straight into, say, doing something on a modern Windows machine um, because of the more basic uh, instruction set that they have. I think it would be much easier to follow. Obviously, doing something like 8080... Uh, 886, 8086, 8086, sounds right. Anyways, doing something like that would be, be really cool as well. Um, and be more useful in general. Just because it exists in more places. And, like, even the Nintendo is based off of that at a, at a basic level. Um, but, yeah. It would probably end up being Nintendo or GameCube, though. Or not GameCube, sorry. Nintendo or, or Game Boy, though. Oh, uh, yeah, obviously it's not yours. You still need order, bro. Circle, circle, circle. PS1, PS2 uses MIPS. GameCube, Wii use PowerPC. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very true. But... Anybody else? Uh, I don't know if we get points for actually taking orders or only delivering them, but we still lost! Boy, I thought we actually did pretty good. We lost by like 200 points, though. Yeah, when I was talking about, um, like doing one for a modern Windows machine, yeah. Well, technically it'd be, uh, x64, but, you know, or x86 with the x64 extension, but... Anyways, uh, but yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, yeah, if you want to get technical, then Windows can run on like ARM architecture and stuff like that, which would have its own instruction set, so it can be much more complicated. But yeah, like the, the Nintendo and Game Boy are well documented. Um, there, there's a lot of tools out there, like emulators and things to try it on the PC, first uh complete with debuggers and and all of that stuff um there are plugins for different uh utilities like you know uh buh, 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 like notepad plus plus or vim or or i'm sure for visual studio code or whatever to make writing and assembly on those platforms easier etc 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 so probably like game boy or uh or Nintendo, I think, is what it would be for me. Maybe Game Boy specifically, because I have the uh, analog pocket, and it'd be cool to make a game that I could, like, mess around with on the go, too. Hmm. Very nice, man. I've done straight assembly for Wind Waker before. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I've never... Uh, I've seen assembly before, um, like, during programming courses in college and stuff like that, but I've never actually written anything in assembly. So, like, <laughs> it's just something I want to try one of these days. I think it'd be cool. Work together, bouncing packages into the storeroom at the Krusty Krab. Bounce packages on trays, move squares of your own color. Okay. Uh, okay. So we just stand under things of our own color? Wait, what? Okay, so I'm yellow. Or no, wait, I'm green because... 
Oh, but we had to bounce them like all the way down the line? Okay, interesting. Does it just automatically bounce? It does. Go, 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 dude! So sometimes, oh shit. Sometimes it does just feel like it just kind of eats your inputs, man. It's, it's very odd. Not always, but sometimes. Are you familiar with Wind Waker's bow and arrow? Not particularly. I actually started playing a bit of Wind Waker not that long ago, a couple of months ago maybe. Um, but I didn't get super far into it. It's on my, my personal list of like games that I want to play through to completion because now that I'm a little bit older and it's very different art style, doesn't bother me nearly as much, I, uh, I really do want to play it. Obviously, the game has gotten a lot of, of very high praise, and uh, I think I really missed out by by avoiding it when I was younger, simply because of the, the art style that it had. It was a, a poor decision on my end, for sure. Go over? Dude, why do you suck? I'm guessing your mod was somehow related to the to the bow and arrow though from Wind Waker. <laughs> I'm screwing up so bad, man. It's fun. These ones are nice and easy, you know. You just you bounce two, you go down. You bounce two, you go down. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Shh. Ah! I screwed both up so bad. I got scared and was like, okay, I need to grab the other one, but I didn't actually need to yet. I'm mashing like left and right whenever it comes up, man. It just, <laughs> the game hates me, I swear. Yeah, we're still winning though. I'm assuming, are we going to swap again or is it just going to get faster? Yeah, we're going to swap places again. Do we really need to swap twice? Yeah, this gets this gets more confusing for sure. Um, <laughs> so then, and then here, and then here, here, and then here again. Okay. No, go to the. Bro, I'm <laughs> I'm hitting left like over and over again. It just did not want to go. Oh shoot. I thought SpongeBob was first spot for some reason. It's me though. I'm struggling. Maybe mashing is the wrong move. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you can't mash. Maybe you gotta wait until you're like stopped for a second and then... Yeah, that seems to be working a little bit better. Annoyingly, like... I'd much rather be able to just mash, but I guess that's too easy. Has an arrow swapping gooey. Oh, oh, shoot. Hold on. I can't read yet. Oh, has it gotten like faster? So not only is it swapped, but okay. That's fine. Long as we like don't get stuck, unable to move where I want to move, we should be okay. I thought I had already bounced it. It's fine though. Man, SpongeBob is doing great at this though. I don't think he's missed a single one to be honest with you. Oh yeah, we got this one in the bag, dude. No issues. Okay, lots of issues, but like, but we won this one for sure. Let's go. Bow and arrow has this arrow swapping GUI displayed at the top of the screen when you have it drawn. For some of your mods, you manage to hijack that arrow swapping GUI to display your own stuff. Oh, does it, so like you just added more to the, the arrow GUI or do you mean like you 
replaced it entirely. I'm just curious, like, if that GUI's necessary, how that was handled. But I'm thinking you just, like, continued building on to it. I'm guessing. But again, I'm not 100% sure how it works, the bow and arrow GUI, so... I could be, like, way off base here. Um, Bounce packages on trays above... Wait, isn't this the same one we just... Oh, that was the rehearsal round. Duh. Okay. Man, I was so proud of us, too, but, like, it turns out it didn't even matter. Oh, God, it is... It starts out so slow, doesn't it? God, this just feels wrong now after playing the end of that last round. Oh. Sorry, I hardly got any sleep today. I've been trying to uh, play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth because, you know, just recently released, just recently picked it up. Even took some days off to play it, and somehow I've only been able to play like five hours of it so far, even though I took off time specifically to play the game. It's super annoying, but it is what it is. I'm hoping tomorrow that I'll actually have time. I don't have to run any errands tomorrow that I know of, other than maybe taking Noodle to work. So, I'm really hoping to be able to just kind of stay home, play the game, and uh, do, like, basically nothing else. That's the, that's the dream, more or less. Made it so you were on the boat, you could swap between different sails. Oh, okay, very cool. I'm guessing, like, the basic one only has, like, like the base game, Vanilla, only has the one sail, then. I did unlock the boat. I do- oh, shoot. I do remember the boat, at least, but, but yeah, I definitely didn't make it far enough to know, like, if you ever did unlock something like that. It did. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes a ton of sense. That sounds really handy, actually, because, like, I, the, the, the map in that game looks like it's pretty darn large, honestly. So, like, I can only imagine how long it would take to get from one island to the next, like, clear across the world if you needed to for some reason or something, but... Huh, the HD version had a swift sail. That's handy. Sadly, I don't own the HD version. I was just playing on the GameCube. I would love to play the HD one, though. Not only because it looks better, but also quality of life, which is always nice. Man, they really suck at this game, don't they? I mean, I feel like we do too, or me specifically, not so much SpongeBob, but like, we still have almost double their points. Left and then right, and we got this, bro. Is it? Oh, shoot, I screwed it up. Is it the same pattern every time? Like, per... Per round? I think it is, actually. Oh, bruh. Why am I so bad? I'm gonna blame it on being very, very tired. I, I missed it again. I keep somehow just missing the new ones coming in the door. I mean, we're still like way above them down there, but my god. The player of the randomizer made a mod for replicating the swift sail, but it couldn't be swapped. Just a checkbox. Oh, so like it was always on or always off sort of thing, basically. Kind of like sprite swaps that a lot of randomizers have. You just pick which sprite you want the main character to be at the beginning and then deal with it for the rest of the time you're playing. I mean, in some ways that makes sense, right? A lot of times I feel like when you're playing a randomizer, you want a vanilla experience. Just 
with with you know a hint of new <laughs> like you don't necessarily want to add anything into, into the game you just want to refresh it to make it fun again to make it new again so I understand the viewpoint they came from but yeah having the ability to actually like swap them would be super handy especially if I don't know if you did this with yours or not but especially if it's something that like you could actually unlock or work toward in the game Big fan of that sort of stuff, you know? Popularity points? What What do you mean it's a tie? It, was it just like anybody above that line? Oh. So how do we... Do we have a tiebreaker? That'd be your guess. Technically never finished and released it? Wait. Why not, bro? Does it not work, or like... Or you just decided you wanted to keep it for yourself? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with making mods for yourself and not sharing them. If that's the case. I'm just curious. Bro, I literally can't wait to get like an actual game room set up. That's one of the reasons why I haven't played that much Final Fantasy VII is because right now there's a TV over there. You guys can't see it's off off screen. And my bed is behind the blue screen right here. Um, So like that's where my PS5 is hooked up is on that TV over there. So I've been for some god awful reason been waking up super early in the morning. And uh, oh, it's a tie between like me and SpongeBob. Because we were on a team the whole time. Um. Anyways, okay. So yeah, no, I, I've been waking up god awful hours in the morning, and I didn't want to like mess with Noodle by trying to play the game and it being loud on the TV and waking her up and all of that stuff. So I just, I just didn't. I just haven't been playing. And then by the time she gets up, I'm like just falling back asleep. So then I'm sleeping like. A couple hours in the afternoon and then it's time for lunch and like then I got to run errands and it's just been like yeah I haven't had any time to play so I can I literally can't wait to just have my own game room again I'm I'm so excited for it man it's been eight years seven six probably about six years is this literally just like a game of chance I'm guessing this is just like. Two, one. Hmm. There may be like the AI may be made in some predictable way. I don't know, but. Can figure out how to get the GUI to update properly when switching between arrow and the ship. Oh, it's so like if you pull out your bow before the ship, the arrow will show up on the display when you first get on it. I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Sadly, like I said, never actually did any uh assembly programming and i know nothing about how breath of the wild works so <laughs> or not breath of the wild um wind waker wind waker works Three, two, one. Uh, inputs for this game are freaking weird man oh my god boy <laughs> just let me win Three. I can just sit near mash in the freaking button. Let's go. Get Rex SpongeBob. So what do we get for winning? Was it just new artwork? Maybe some new mini games? Some new mini games would make sense. For like what you call it mode, where you just get to pick whatever the hell you're doing. Free mode, there you go. Or it might call it like single round or something. I think it had its own name for it here. It's kind of neat that they put a story in it, I guess. But I honestly, until like now, I forgot that there was a story in this game. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> it's just, it takes such a backseat to everything. Bubble bath. 
as I suspected, they were all terrible. It was a complete and utter waste of my valuable time. I hate this guy. Tell me who the winner is. Squidward Pentacles will be the best waiter of the bunch. Squidward? Where's my... Okay, he's our waiter in the next role then. <laughs> Send the car for Squidward. I am pockets. I set it up here. Nope. BRB. Um, no, I'm a little surprised. It's so open. Like, it's a... It's a full open world. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's a full open world, but at least this level is... You know, if you've ever seen, like, the first couple Crash games... J Sway underscore just raided with seven viewers. I don't think you should keep your uh, nitro so close to your chicken coop there. Oh, man. Thank you. Um... All right, so yeah, really bad timing, man. <laughs> on my part, on my part. Holy hell! Thank you guys. Hello, hello, welcome. <laughs> I literally, like, as soon as I rounded the corner of the blue screen, there, I, uh, I heard it come through. Just wait. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate that. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I've never played before. I know nothing about this game. I'm just trying it out, so don't expect any good gameplay or anything like that. But, like, <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, I appreciate it, though, man. Hello. Such a professional hush you. <laughs> Technically, it happened after I got up, so you can't blame me 100%. You know? <laughs> it was just, just a bad coincidence all around. <laughs> but no. Oh, the rest of the SpongeBob universe of Elm, actually, yeah. You were streaming Battle for Bikini Bottom. You do speed runs. I was trying out the new randomizer mod. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I haven't actually finished Battle for Bikini Bottom myself, but it's one of the games on my list that I want to complete. Um, I have watched a little bit of speed running on it before. Not like a ton, but um, I think it was SGDQ, right? They had a. They did a speed run uh, around the time that it came out. Like the the new one, the HD remaster one came out. I'm pretty sure they they had it on there. That's probably the one that I watched, but my memory's not always the best. But no, that's sick, man. It's been around. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now how'd it go though? Get a PB or anything? I'm hardly paying attention to the story. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. I think they're shooting the Mermaid and Barnacle Boy episode, right? That's what they're doing. And for some reason... Oh, Squidward's the waiter because we won, of course. So wait, does that mean we would get a different scene for like each character that we played? So, like, if we had played as Plankton, then Plankton would have been the, the waiter in that little scene? That's been pretty... That'd be pretty cool. Been labbing with the community, beat the game in an hour 35 with the original requirements? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head, like, what is considered a good time. Um, but, like... But it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> so I've definitely watched a speed run of it, but it's been a while. He's just got everybody in on his little scheme here, huh? For some reason, I don't like trust the shark dude that much. Like I said, I haven't really been paying attention to the story at all, so I have no idea. Um, but like something about him just irks me the wrong way, you know? Doesn't quite feel right. World record of the vanilla game is shift with 41 minutes, 45 seconds. Okay. So that's still pretty damn good then, right? An hour and what was it? Hour 35. You can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> World records are like big deals. I haven't done a ton of speedrunning myself. I've only done a little bit. 
I did a little bit. Oh, I did not read like how this works at all. I uh, was one of the top players for a little game called um, Deepest Sword at one point in time. And then I've screwed around with some like Mario speed running, uh, specifically three in world, but I I never had like a top time or anything like that. I never even submitted anything to speedruns.com, anything like that. It's just, you know, just something that I've enjoyed playing since I was a kid and I was curious how, how good I could do at it. So I learned the speed run tech for um the first level of super mario brothers 3 and then just did the rest like as quick as i could and got a decent time and then that was kind of it <clears throat> and then for super mario world i did try to do the um the actual like any percent route for for super mario world at one point but i could not get consistent with the i, I forget what they actually call the glitch but basically where you get a cloud um, oh. from, from glitching out one of the, uh, oh boy, my, my brain doesn't work all that well. One of the dudes, like, right in the beginning of the game, the first, the first level of the game, like, one of the football dudes. Anyways, you glitch him out, you get a cloud in your little inventory slot at the top, and then you use that to manipulate Bowser. I could never get consistent at that, so I just did glitchless any percent basically and uh, again you know decent time but <clears throat> nothing leaderboard worthy deepest sword is fun i love that freaking game man. <laughs> i i didn't plan on getting into speed running it in any way it was just me and my brother optijack if he's still here somewhere um both got into it or well i got into it and then suggested he give it a try right just the game itself because i was curious like how, how well he would do <laughs> but we can both be a bit competitive at times. So then he, you know, beat my time. And then, of course, once he beat my time, I had to beat his time. And then next thing you knew, I was, uh, yeah, one of the... I don't remember exactly what my top spot was. He might remember. I know it was... I know it was higher than top 10. But I can't remember But um, exactly what it was. But then uh, my, my brother never ended up getting around to trying to beat my time. So then I kind of stopped as well. And and now, yeah, I'm way behind. So, but still, it's fun, man. That's what it all comes down to for me anyways. It's just, you know, screwing around, having fun. I was like the number one motivator for speedrunning. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> 100%, man. So, yeah, good stuff, man. That's awesome. And I wish you luck on uh, future PB attempts or... I mean, I know you're just labbing right now for the most part, but whenever you do get back into PB attempts or, or world record attempts, if you're, you know, going for that, I wish you luck. That's awesome. Just gonna... Ooh. Squidward wins again! Yeah, I look forward to seeing what you do in the future, man. Honestly, though, that's awesome. I love I love speedrunning. Even though I don't do, like, do it much myself, you know, I really appreciate what speedrunners do. And it's just entertaining as hell to watch people break these games. So, Like the one that, uh, that Colt does, for instance. I haven't actually seen any runs of that one before, but it's something I want to check out one of these days. I wish I could remember. I think he said, right? Uh, I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. I am alive. That's what it is. Um, I want to check it out just casually now, but of course, speed runs too, because <laughs> I just really enjoy speed runs. A lot of times, like, I'll do that too whenever I get a new game. Um, not necessarily a new game, a new old game, you know, like get into a retro game. Like, recently, I uh, decided to try out Grandia on the PS1, and I played a little bit of it. And then I was like, I wonder what, like, the game as a whole is like, you know? Do I want to keep playing it or not? So one of the first things I did was look up 
a speed run of it. Sadly, I couldn't find any of a, a quality that I really wanted to sit there and watch. Most of them were were older, and apparently it's also a very long run. Not surprising, it is a JRPG, but still. Um, so I didn't end up watching any of them. But just as an example, you know, that's that's the sort of thing I'll do with a bunch of games. Uh, just to get an idea of whether I think I'd be into it or not. I just watch the speed runs to watch them reviews and crap. One of the big benefits of speedruns is it doesn't normally spoil the actual story for the game, too. So, like, you know, just another benefit there for, for the viewers, for the watchers. So, wait, what are we... Oh, they're... Oh, they need to be put on in the right order. Okay. Oh, we're doing greens. Okay. I done screwed this up. Thankfully, it's just rehearsal. How do I actually like put it on? Okay, I press X. Okay, we got this. It's fine. That's red. That's not the right color. Blue. Oh, can we do them in any order? But we have to like whatever is put on first kind of determines what what we end up with though. I think I can only load my side, I'm, I'm assuming. Technically a solitaire runner as well? That's... <laughs> How does that work, honestly? Have we talked about that before? Have you mentioned that before, Colt? I mean, I guess, like, it's just quickest win, right? Like, that that makes sense. I don't know what, what else I was thinking. But, like, that's... <laughs> that's really cool, though. <laughs> Yeah, what is, like, the general strategy for... Oh, no! He dropped it. Okay, so what? We need red ones again? Okay, thankfully this is just reversal, so, like, we're fine. You don't know you just played? <laughs> That's fair. 100% fair, man. <laughs> oh... One of these days, it's, it's not really speed running, but one of these days I want to try out the, uh, the, uh, oh my god, Plankton, you suck! Um. Excel, they have, like, the Excel Olympics. I forget what it's, like, actually called. It might be called Excel Olympics, I'm not sure. But anyways, I really want to try that out one of these days, man. I think that would be fun. I'm not particularly good at Excel or anything like that, but I, I do enjoy Excel. They won. Bro, because freaking Plankton can't click in the middle of the the bar to help him out. It was just rehearsal, though. Could be better whenever we do the real run here. World record in the category is about 30 seconds. Holy hell. That's insane, man. That's that's fast, fast. Like, I I don't know the fastest I've ever beat Solitaire before, but I guarantee you it wasn't any faster than, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, play for real. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there is some sort of strategy. Guarantee it, man. Unrecorded PB is a minute 19 seconds. That still feels really good to me. Said, I don't know a ton about solitaire speed running, but like, <laughs> but it sounds good at least, right? Blue. What are they doing? Oh, there was no greens available, so they were just standing around. Nice, okay. That's actually very helpful for us. SpongeBob, I swear to God, man. If you screw this up for me. The way Plankton did. Oh my God, it might have been faster just to wait for a new one to pop up. Carry this all the way over here. Okay, thank God, SpongeBob. I know for real, man. I mean, Plankton did, Plankton did it to me twice last time around. So like, <laughs> I, I was half expecting it to be honest. But sorry, right. we had a few pixels left. We were good. 
And then red. Aw, oh, you dick, Sandy. They still have two left, though. And they're doing the hardest one first for some reason. I'm guessing maybe reds weren't available when they started it. Ah, uh, SpongeBob! Bro! Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. I mean, granted, my placement wasn't amazing, but at least I didn't throw it. I wonder, like, if we roll out of time, roll, roll out of time? If we run out of time, is it just whoever has completed the most? Oh god, they're caught up to us. SpongeBob! Dude, come on! Bro, if we lose this one, it is not my fault. Like, not at all. And of course, they did the hardest one first, so now they have a lot easier time finishing theirs than we will ours. Oh, come on. Oh my god, bro! What is it? Why? Every time on this stupid one. Okay, they screwed up again. We still have a chance. I'm wondering, is it gonna be a tie if SpongeBob screws it up again? Is it gonna be a tie or is it like... No, they won. Because they did the harder one. And there must be different points for the different weight values. Bro, <laughs> SpongeBob freaking threw that. That was garbage. That was absolute garbage. I mean, I'm still in the lead, thankfully, but like, come on, man. That needs to be like a thing in a game, you know? If the if you're paired up with a CPU and you're doing really well, make the CPU at least be competent. <laughs> like, uh, I would have been fine if it screwed up like once, but it did not need to screw up. What was that? Four times in a row? Five times in a row? That was a bit much game. Did not appreciate that. No, not at all. <laughs> Wasn't even trying. Cast your line. Press and hold X longer to cast farther. Okay. Your meter's colors match the buoy's colors. Use them to help judge distance. What are we trying to do? Retrieve items being dragged out to sea. Oh, okay. Okay. We're just going to play. I'm not going to rehearse it. I, uh, I understand what we're doing. I have no... No idea how far... Wait, do we actually... Oh, okay. We actually need to aim, too. Why can't I... Maybe we should have rehearsed. Why Why can I not grab anything? Oh, do we actually need to like... Oh, it's not just like straight out. I see, I see, I see. Feels almost like best strategy would be to, like, go at an angle. Yeah, we lost this one, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, do you actually have to hit it to catch it? I thought you could just drag over it. But we've definitely dragged over that board a couple of times. Beach balls? What? Are we, we're just trying to grab the beach balls, or like... Okay, that seems fine. Like, What are those doofuses doing over to the side there, man? Why are they just like... Fighting with each other? Come on, grab that beach ball, man. It's worth like 200 points. Let's go!
there has been a lot of SpongeBob AI covers going around, man. You're not kidding. I haven't seen very many of them myself. I don't spend much time on like TikTok or anything these days. But a couple of my friends at work talk about them all the time. One of my friends specifically is big into all kinds of different AI stuff in general, right? Whether it's the new... What's the new, like, video one called? I can't remember what they call it. But anyways, he's been showing me a bunch of clips of that. And then, of course, like, um, all the different the different music covers and things. Noodle also has talked about him a little bit before. There was one specifically that she... Like, one, one cartoon character specifically that she uh, would look up the, the covers of all the time. I don't remember what they were, but... If she's here, she might. Was it the Patrick's... Was it Patrick Star Noodle? That sounds right to me for some reason, but... The, uh... The, like, AI cover that you listen to a bunch. Surprisingly, with how bad I was doing at the beginning, we actually won this one, man. Unless they, like, get a bunch of points all of a sudden. Gotta head to bed. Have a good night, man. Thank you again for the raid. I really do appreciate it. And again, good luck on your next uh on your next PB attempt or lab run, whatever you're doing, man. Toad, that was it. Yeah, the Toad AI covers. <laughs> That's what you were listening to a bunch. I remember now. You wanted to use them specifically to like annoy your mother. I got there. I just need a little bit of help. That's all. Memory doesn't always work the best, you know? Ah, but you have listened to Plankton and Patrick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I gotcha. Plankton is funny? I mean, all of them are kind of funny. That's the point, right? Like, <laughs> tournament mode lets you play one to five auditions, but they have to be unlocked in story mode first. Hmm. Two or more players have earned enough points. Okay, I see. I wonder... So, like, we did rock, paper, scissors because it was just me and Squidward last time that that had enough points, but I wonder what would happen if all four people did. And who was the winner? Squidward Tentacles is your lookout, man. Great. I'll give him the good news. Send Mr. Tentacles down to I'm bright like a diamond. That's all I remember of that song. I, <laughs> that was like early 2000s, man. I don't remember any of that. Well, not like early 2000s. Two, 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 2005? How old was I? Yeah, probably around 2005, I'm guessing. For the, the big Rihanna craze. No shit, was it really 2012? There's no way Shine Bright Like a Diamond came out in 2012, man. I know I'm supposed to be looking out. There's just nothing I was not 19 when Shine Bright Like a Diamond came out. Nothing. Nothing. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Bro, I refuse to believe it. I thought it was Mermaid Man. Greetings, sea creature. What can I get you, gentlemen? Gelp Sunday? Bruh. <laughs> How is that? Uh, How is that real? How was I 19? I feel like I've been listening to that forever, man. Well, not like, you know, on rotation or anything on the playlist, but... I feel like I was riding around and shit. You know what? 2019, I might have been living with my sister, though. Because I was thinking of like riding around in a car listening to it with her and shit, but like But yeah I wasn't thinking about living with her in like 2015 though, which I guess I would have That's roughly roughly the right time Holy shit, did I say 2019 2015? I'm tired. I've had a glass of wine. Hush you. Plankton Patrick duet one. You found that you really like covering someone you love by Lewis Capaldi. Good song. I haven't heard the the cover of it, but good song nonetheless. Well, there go 
calls that job. What can I do for you, Mr. Man Ray and Mr. Dirty Bubble Sirs? Oh, I knew On a ship, what I order from Amazon. 20, oh, 2012, whatever. Look, like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> don't mind me, I don't know what's going on. I'm barely here right now. I'm asleep in my bed behind me. <laughs> Imagining sleeping on my futon whenever I get it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Well, was it 2012 or 2018 or 20, 2011 that you moved in? Because 2012, I would have been 19. What a secret not pointing sign. Wait, what? <laughs> or I was not paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you, I don't know what's going on, bro. Was it 2012? Okay. I mean, I believe you. Yeah, I guess I was thinking it was when I was 18, but I guess... I guess maybe it's when you were 18. Yeah. So, fine. 2012. But still, we only lived in that apartment together for, like, what, six months? Or so? And then we moved in to, to where we lived, that my sister also lived. To get the police officer role, they'll have to ace and obviously, the like, test. songs on the radio play for a couple of years if they're big. Assign the game legit said secret lair over here. I was not, I am not looking at the game at all, be honest with you. Minigame games are fun, but they're not engaging to me, you know? It's like decent as a party thing or whatever, but it's not meh. It's just, it's just very meh. So, <laughs> like, I need, I need, like, the board game aspect of it, you know, to actually really get into it, into it. And then I, or I need, like, friends over here playing with me. So, that's why I need to get the game room, and then I can have friends over and shit. I'm thinking, if I have the room for it, and depending how much all the equipment is, I want to have my TV, or a TV, of course, like, a, preferably an OLED, um like a LG OLED C3 or something like that is what I is what I want but maybe I'll look at getting something a little bit older just for cost. I don't want anything big. I'm thinking like 43 inches ish depending what sizes they have those available in. Um but what I really want to do is I also want to get a CRT and then I want to use a uh splitter so that all of my retro consoles will show on both, right? So like It'll split out one signal over to the CRT and then the other signal to my RetroTINK 5X, which goes to HDMI, which will then go to the TV, capture card, et cetera, et cetera, from there. Um, so, yeah, that's like that's my dream. But one, I don't know if I have space. And two, I don't know off the top of my head how much all of the equipment costs to split all the signals and shit like that. Um, specifically because, like, the Nintendo uses a single uh video line component composite always mix them up but whichever one my playstation one i have set up with s video my playstation 2 is component my wii is component or whatever the the five wire one is like i said i mix them up all the time my sega is the three wire one my sega genesis that is my Super Nintendo and N64 are both three wire. So like most of them are three wire, but I want to keep them as high quality as possible for whenever we do streaming and stuff like that. So I don't want to get rid of the ones that I have component and downgrade, but I don't know if there's like the five wire available for format available for all of the consoles minus the HDMI stuff that would bypass the CRT entirely. But anyway, so I need to, I need to look into it a bunch. Um, but that's that's my dream, right? Have the CRT, have the the OLED TV. Um, preferably, also get like a. Oh shoot, man! Also get like a a retro tank 4K would be awesome. But those are like a thousand dollars, not quite. I think they're like eight hundred dollars or something on their own. Bro, I am sucking at this one. Um. Anyways, apparently. You know, from what I've seen from the reviews and stuff, the RetroTINK 4K on a OLED TV such as the such as the uh, LG OLED C3 is like just as good as using a CRT. 
But again, I haven't actually used it myself, so I don't know. So like, maybe just getting a Retro Tank 4K would be the more reasonable thing than getting a bunch of splitters and stuff like that and trying to deal with all that. Bruh, I wish we could just stay on 69 points. It's like, it's perfect. Wait, did my controller die? Oh, two bumpers, okay. I got knocked out already. Let's go. Yeah, no, my sister was taking us to and from work a lot. That's why I was like, yeah, we would have spent a bunch of time in the car around then. And that's what I was thinking, but I was thinking it was whenever me and her worked together whenever I was younger. Um, that's why I was thinking like 20, whatever I initially said, 2005 or whatever ish. Although 2005 might have been a little early, 2006, 2007, something like that. You wish it was 2012 again? I wish it was 2012, but I didn't live where I lived when it was 2012, you know? Like, <laughs> I wish, honestly, I wish it was a little bit earlier than 2012. If we're being, if we're being real, real. I just wish I wasn't a whole ass adult. Exactly, bro. That's what it all comes down to, right? Just like, I wish it was 1998. I wish it was 1992. I wasn't even born yet, bro. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. That's probably Pond to Replay. I don't even remember what that song is. I feel like Kabaji from Buggy Crew would appreciate this minigame from One Piece. I refuse to watch One Piece. Um. It is just way too long for me to even really consider getting into it. There's like, what, 1,200 episodes or something of that? Like, nah, bro. I do not have time for that. I don't have time for the stuff I want to do now. Like, there's no way I can get into an anime that freaking long. <laughs> Nearly 1,100. I knew it was up there. I knew it was over 1,000. I wasn't sure exactly how many I had beyond that. But, but yeah. Like... I'm sure it's cool, and I know, like, it and... I think it and Dragon Ball Z, right, are, like, the two most popular... Or at least they used to be, the two most popular manga in the world. So, like, I'm sure they're good, no doubt in my mind, but I just can't bring myself to do it. First watch the anime, you watched the first, like, 450 episodes in two weeks? How's that even possible? That's, what, 20 minutes an episode, not counting... Like a intro outro, so five episodes would be an hour. So that's like a hundred hours in two weeks, a little less, a little less. We'll say, we'll say like eighty hours in two weeks. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely doable, right? That's how much I work, but more than that if you count lunch break. But like, damn, boy, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> I need to plug my watch in, actually. Um, perform tricks in the air. Link tricks for more points. Let's go. There was only about 500 episodes out at the time. Have you kept up with it ever since? See, and that's like, if I had done that, if I had been watching it since I was a, a teenager, a kid, whatever, um, depending when it came out, and then just, like, stayed into it the whole time, keeping up with it, I don't think I'd mind how long it is. But with how long it is now, there's just, like, no way. Oh no! We wiped out. Oh god, we wiped out again. I'm gonna wipe out again. <laughs> Bro, I suck so bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can we hold it for like even more... ...things? I don't know. It's really hard for me to tell like how high we are. The tentacle? Can we do like, what if you hit like two buttons? No, doesn't seem to really matter. Oh, this has got to be like a big, big one, right? Yes, all three, dude, let's go. Hey, 
I have no idea if we're winning or not. I hope we are. But we did, like, wipe out a lot. That was dumb. Okay, we're fine. Yes, please do wipe out. Wipe out a lot. I don't know if we actually need to hold X to, to like, move, but I've been holding X this whole time. I just feel like we need to. What happens if we do, like, the same move twice? Do we get bonus points for that? What do you mean for once you're winning, Squidward? We've won every, like, every, co not every individual competition, but every war so far. I like zoned out for a short second there. I couldn't even tell if we were in the air or if we were on the ground. That was <laughs> that was bad. Oh boy, that's how I know I'm getting getting too tired. I have no idea what's going on anymore. How long are we going for? Okay, okay, it's almost. Ooh, I was really worried about wiping out there. Um, it's almost over. Did we win? We won by a couple hundred points. Good. Send me a link on Messenger. Assume that's why you mentioned your watch. Well, I felt it vibrate, so I looked at it and saw you sent me a message, and that just reminded me that when I looked at my watch earlier, like before I got on stream, that it was dying, and I just kind of forgot about it. ADD's a bitch sometimes. Wine going straight to your head? I don't even feel like tipsy or anything. I just feel super freaking tired, man. <laughs> like, ridiculously tired. Like, I was much worse off yesterday when we were drinking whiskey instead of today drinking the wine. Even though, like, we only had that much whiskey in the glass, it's, what, three times stronger than this wine is? A little less than three times stronger. Like, two and a half times stronger than this wine is. Hydrate? Well, the wine's gone, boy. We've moved on to there, or from there Jack already. Just Chocobo, hydrate. what's up, my guy? Hello, sir. Shot, you want me to do shots of freaking clear American? Here, I'll pour I'll pour a little bit of my wine glass. You'll never know the difference. That's that's way more than a shot. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to measure. Oh, I don't want to swallow that. That's what she said. Uh anyways, there you go. There's your shot, man. <laughs> I stopped getting at around 800 and returned to it around when episode 1000 came out. Oh, just seeing the 1000, man, like just kills me. I can't <laughs> been pretty much keeping up on it to date or up to date on it since then. Never actively keeping up to date with One Piece until like the past two years or so. That's fair. You can focus on the clothes now. You'll be around just not paying that much attention. And bruh, you've only had those clothes out for one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have fun with the clothes. Good luck. Wait, we're just driving, right? Oh, oh god, it's one of these ones though, where like the controls are just wildly bad. Um, anyways, the only anime I'm really trying to keep up with at the moment is I'm trying to catch back up on My Hero Academia. Because I was caught up on that at one point in time, but it's been a little while. And then I'm trying to stay caught up with uh, solo leveling. And then... Is that it? I guess that's it that I'm like keeping up with at the moment. I've been trying to watch Naruto for the past like five years or something. <laughs> that might be a slight exaggeration, but it's been years at least. That I've been trying to keep up with my hero, but I just I just can't, man. I, or I'm sorry, not my hero, Naruto. I just can't get that into it. Too many flashbacks and just filler, you know. It's just like 
Fully Cooly? Yeah, I do want to watch Fully Cooly. I thought I had it on my list that night that you mentioned it, Chocobo, but I didn't realize it was like a spinoff or something like that. Um, it's not the actual, like, the actual show. The one that, the one that's on Crunchyroll, that is. So I'm gonna have to find it somewhere else to actually watch it, watch it. Game has cheats? So I've heard. What kind of cheats does it have, though? It was mentioned earlier, but like, yeah. Um, I know it has one to like unlock all the mini games or whatever, but is there anything actually worth messing with? Read all the solo leveling Mon one. Not sure why you found it kind of boring. I read the first um collection or whatever you want to call it for the Monwa, right? Uh, and enjoyed it enough that I planned on reading the second one. But at the very back of the manhwa, I saw that it was actually based off of a web novel that has since been published. So I said screw it and just started reading the novels instead. And I'm enjoying the novels a lot more than I enjoyed the manhwa. Even though, like I said, personally, I did enjoy the manhwa. Um, oh, why did we slide out like that? That's the first time we've done that. Anyways, um, yeah. And now the, the anime, they've changed a little bit. For the most part, it's faithful, though, and I am enjoying it. The only problem I have is the episode... This is... It's been out now for eight weeks, right? And they they already did a 0.5 episode, a recap episode, which I find super annoying. I understand why, right? They needed, they needed time to get caught up on everything to, to keep the animation quality up and consistent but like bruh do we really need a catch-up episode a, a flashback episode after the first seven seems a little a little much fully coolly progressive and alternative which has some returning characters but not the protagonist not necessary to watch yeah 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 okay that's the one at least i think it's progressive Holy Coolly Progressive, I think is the one that's on Crunchyroll. That's the one that I actually had on my list. So like I said, I need to just find... I need to just find a uh, somewhere that you can watch Holy Coolly on its own. It might be on Hulu or something, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really looked for where to watch it yet. I just know the version I found... ...was not like the original one. Oh, shit, yeah, 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 by all means, man. I don't come back to work till Sunday. If you're if you're going to be there Sunday, though, um, I, I have to pick up Noodle usually after work, so I can't stay, like, super late. But as long as you're getting there, you know, around your shift start time, then, yeah, you're off on Sunday. Okay, I'll be back on uh, Tuesday, if you work Tuesday. I couldn't remember what days you said you had off. Was it was it Sunday, Wednesday? Oh god. Oh god, don't lose. Okay, we're still first place. We're fine. We work Tuesday. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I remember for sure that you said that you said uh Wednesday, but I couldn't remember the other one. I was pretty sure you said Wednesday at least because yeah, happens to line up with the stream day. So anyways, yeah, if you want to bring it Tuesday, then that would be that would be awesome. I'll try to remember to check like Hulu and stuff first, though, because I do have access to those streaming services. So might as well use them just to make it easier. But if they don't, then then, yeah, I'd rather do that than find a uh, website. <laughs> does that give us enough to beat this round? It does, I think. No, it was 12,000, wasn't it? What's the difference? Wait. Oh, manhwa or web novel. What's the difference? The manhwa is basically manga or a comic book. Um, the web novel is just a book. That's the that's the difference. There's more detail in the, the web novel, right? They go more in depth with things um, because it's a book, not, not a book of pictures. Um, but yeah, it really just comes down to personal preference. For which one I would suggest somebody read. It's just I personally, while I do really like manga, manhwa, whatever, um, I prefer to just read books in most cases. So yeah, that's that's all. It is on Hulu. Okay, yeah. I'll just watch it on Hulu then. I do really appreciate it though, but uh 
But yeah, it'll just be easier to do that instead of having you bring it in and then me finding the time to watch it and then bring it back and all that stuff. Go back to acting school. I couldn't catch you in a pond with that effort. Get back in there and do better! Oh, wait. So did, like, everybody lose because we didn't get to 12,000 points? Bruh, that sucks. Okay, let's try this cheat because... One, it's two thirty, and two, I'm kind of, kind of done. How do we, how do we put in the cheats? I see the code there, but where do we put it in at? I was thinking maybe it would have been under here. Rewards. Aha, codes. Wait, cross save. Scan for cross. Oh wait, it's not. It's definitely not going to work. Um. This is a unique memory card just for this game. So, like, yeah, definitely not going to work. Uh, two, 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 nine. Does this, like, number mean something? Nine, zero, seven, four, four, six, six. Enter. Everything is unlocked. Let's go. Okay. So is that, like, art gallery and, and literally everything? I mean, it's just a game of mini games. So at the end of the day, other than art gallery and crap like that, all it's going to unlock is more, um, whatchamacallit for us, right? Just more mini games for us to play in, like, singles mode. I mean, the artwork's cool, I guess, but, like, yeah. You did not read the web novel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I actually, I own the first, like, two or three of them. I haven't read all of them yet. I do want to eventually. Um, but I stopped having as much time to read, so I kind of slowed down on it. And then they came out with the actual, you know, the anime. So now I've just kind of been focusing on the, the anime. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> One of these days, though, I want to get back to, to reading it. Because it is, uh, it is really good, and it is at least somewhat different than the uh, than the anime is. The anime is like following it pretty closely, um, but they are adding like a little bit of extra stuff in there, is what it seems like. But yeah, unlocked more mini games too. Yep, yep, yep. I figured that's that's what I I figured it would do. I wasn't sure if it would unlock stuff like this. Um, not that I particularly care about. Yeah. Personally, really like the beginning of solo leveling before the leveling system actually got introduced. My only problem personally with solo leveling, and maybe this changes later on in the series, I don't know, is how quickly he becomes overpowered. Sorry, the slight spoilers, I guess. Um, but yeah, the main character very quickly gets very powerful. Like very freaking powerful man and that's the thing for me that just kind of was like i didn't appreciate <laughs> you know like it, yeah it's cool that he gets to fight all of these big bad awesome dudes and whatnot and we don't have to wait years for it to happen or whatever but like bro i want to see him actually get more powerful as time goes on i don't want like chapter one he's fighting the most basic of creatures and actually able to kill them now instead of being you know useless to chapter two he's fighting some of the like mid-tier people and then by the end of the book he's fighting like top tier enemies and shit like that like that's just bro <laughs> that's that's just too much that's i don't know i just don't yeah, but other than that, I really am enjoying the series, and uh, I do plan on finishing, be it the the book, the manga, or the the anime, etc. Looting, scooting, shift the flying Dutchman's gold from the pile to the moving chest. So that's like, oh, the one in Pokemon Coliseum, man. I can't remember. You're a deli bird, though. I can't remember the name of it, and you're just grabbing like the presents, present delivery. I don't remember what it's called, but. That element never really goes away. He just keeps getting more ridiculously strong. See, that's that's what I kind of figured was going to happen. And that's what I was worried about, honestly, is that he was just going to keep getting more and more overpowered very quickly. Um, obviously, he does still face challenges. And it's fun to watch him overcome those challenges. But, yeah. 
never once thought he was truly in danger. I feel like the anime might do a slight better at making you feel like he's he's in danger. Um, but like by the end of the episode, you know, he just overcomes whatever. There's not much suspense. So, yeah, that's that's I feel like the biggest issue with it. But I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll do something with the anime. And again, I still I still really enjoy it, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I don't like it. Um, I do enjoy it. I just because I enjoy it, I have criticisms of it, you know. Avoid the spotlights. Run. Press and hold circle or square, then release to dash. Bounce off trampolines with the X. Okay. Wait, who are we playing as? I think we're playing as SpongeBob, right? Ah, okay. So we walked in the spotlight. That was dumb, but like... Oh wait, we're in jail? We got put in jail ourselves. That's hilarious. How many can you collect? At a time. Oh, whenever they get caught, they like go back up into here. That's funny. Oh, you can only... Okay, three. Three's the max that you can collect at one time. Good to know. Bro, if everybody else wants to keep getting caught, that's fantastic for me. Why are you on me? Ooh, spotlights. Oh my god, get rid of them before I get picked up. I wonder whenever the spotlight hits us if it would be better to just put run over to the jail cell like preemptively. It's like we'll have less travel time that way, right? Nah, it doesn't really seem like it. It seems like it just hovers. Oh my god, it's on us again already, boy. I like came straight out of the jail cell already. <laughs> already spotted. That was garbage. Wait, are they on us again? I didn't even realize they were on us that time. No, don't push me into the spotlight, you dick. How do you like push people? Oh, that's right. There's a dash. I forgot there's a dash. I'm assuming that's how you push people, like, to move them whenever they're in your way or whatever. Oh my god, Nate, what's up, dude? I'm surprised you're not, like, passed out somewhere, man. You okay, bud? Don't tell me you're, like, dead running out of gas on the side of the highway or something. I wonder... Can we, like... I wonder if we can use the dash to, like, escape the spotlight. <gasps> Did he just escape being caught? So, like, even after the spotlight hits you, you can still run away? That's really cool. Okay, we won, like, by far, though. You woke up to use the restroom. I got you, I got you. Go back to bed, bro. <laughs> It is almost three o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? Go to sleep. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm fucking with you, dude. Thank you for stopping in. I do actually appreciate that, man. Even if it is just to say hello before going back to bed. Oh, God. Bed sounds really nice. I'm going to try to stay awake and play some Final Fantasy VII, though, tonight. Speaking of Chocobo, have you played any yet? I've only played, like, I, I've i technically played five hours. I didn't mean to restart. I've technically played roughly five hours of it, not nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, But I, I really took my time with it. So I'm uh, not that far at all. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, like, spoil anything. I mean, like, everybody's played Final Fantasy VII original at this point, so I don't really think it's a spoiler whenever I, I say that I, I'm at the, the Chocobo Ranch, but, like... You haven't even bought it yet? No shit. Okay. I ended up buying it digitally because I didn't want to wait for uh, to be able to pick it up physically and decided I was just going to get it physically whenever um whenever the price goes down. Because I, I definitely want to own like an actual copy of it. But yeah. So I got the uh the digital deluxe edition digitally and that's what I've been playing. Uh, I wish it remembered, like, our character selections and stuff. Surf Rescue? How do we know if we've played one before or not? I guess we just gotta know. I remember doing inflatable pants. Play instruments in a group rocking the crowd at Sand Stadium. Okay. We can do that. That one's new. We definitely haven't done that one before. No, to be good, you're just not vibing with Final Fantasy right now. That's fair, man. Yeah. Um, and I mean, like, it is very Final Fantasy VII Remake-like, right? The only big difference is, obviously, more open-world-esque. There's a crafting system now. Um, a new ability system, like, how you unlock abilities is new from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, they added a card game that's not terrible, in my opinion. Uh, Queen's Blood, I think it's called. Did I say they added a crafting system? Because they also added, like, resource gathering and crafting system to the game. That's, like, the biggest differences that I've noticed so far. Uh, wait, where am I? Okay. Oh, shoot. Obviously, you gotta, like, hold the buttons. Bro. <laughs> I swear I've played rhythm games before. Oh, my God. I'm sucking so bad at this right now. I don't have a guitar in my hand, that's the problem. I am so far behind everybody else though. I need a uh, breakneck speed cheats, please, to speed this uh, to speed this up a bit. That's what I do in Rock Band. <laughs> it's like I can't play the game without breakneck speed enabled anymore. I'm just so used to to having it enabled. Sorry, I don't remember what the question is. But if I look away, I'm definitely screwed. So, uh, AI question of the day on the screen. <laughs> Whatever it is. A new hand touches the beacon. Oh, God. <laughs> what was it? I saw Wacky Adventures, which, okay, fair. I understand where you're coming from with a new hand touches the beacon now. How long is this minigame? This is much more than I expected. So, like, for the Guitar Hero and Rock Band games, by the way, I know there is um, modding tools, so we can add copyright-free music. And then we can play, like, those games that way on stream and uh, upload them to YouTube or whatever. But, like, how are we going to do SingStar? I might just have to, like, show those games, like, hey, I own these games, they exist, and then just never play them. I, as far as I'm aware, I haven't looked into it, but as far as I'm aware, there's no modding tools for, like... Any of the SingStar games or the spinoffs of it, because, like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, Disney and High School Musical ones and whatnot. That's another thing, like, I have this whole box set of, uh... 
High School Musical DDR knockoff. I have no idea what we're going to do with that either. Like, I, I don't like the, the idea of skipping that many games, but they may just end up being a post on Discord or something. Maybe a quick show on, on stream like, hey, these are things that I added to my collection, and then like, that's it. Is it done? It's finally done. Okay. And we actually won, even after, like, starting out so bad. It would have been cool if Solo Leveling made it so that he always... He was always the weak guy in the group, but he's still getting stronger. See, like, I think he needs to be the strongest eventually, right? He's the main protagonist of an anime. Obviously, he's going to be the strongest eventually. But I do feel like he should have leveled up much more slowly. That way, there was, like, a more natural progression, you know, of him, like, going from group to group. And there could have been more... Um, mystery, you know, like suspicion put on him. Because <clears throat> right now, with how quickly he's leveling up, without giving spoilers or anything, with how quickly he's getting stronger, um, obviously that could just be contributed to a reawakening. Small spoiler, I guess. Reawakenings are rare things that happen. Um, but if he had, like, leveled up more slowly, then that wouldn't have really been a viable thing. And it's like, I don't know. But, I mean, like, the whole thing with solo leveling is it just written by some random dude and published on the web. And then it just got popular, right? So, like, he didn't have, like, a team helping him and whatnot, as far as I'm aware. So, like, yeah. It was just a cool idea he had. And he decided to publish it himself online. And it took off. So, honestly, good for him. All right, question of the day. You inherit a mysterious box filled with random items from iconic video games. What's inside and what wacky adventures does it lead you on? Yes. <laughs> New hand touches the beacon. That's that's probably the best one. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think. Is there, like, any artifacts in games that... I mean, like, Jumanji's a thing, I guess. You know, if you got the Jumanji board or something, that would be be a wacky adventure being teleported into the into the game. Um, one of the VR headsets. There you go. One of the VR headsets, and somehow it also works. Uh, <laughs> like, the game actually works for... Insert game here. I'm I'm gonna say dot hack because that's the first one that comes to mind. But you know, Sword Art Online, dot hack, any of the other, uh, what are they? Isekais? Is that is that what they technically are? Like being teleported to another world style animes that have a video game because it's asking specifically about video games. That Lamilia, <laughs> freaking bracelet. You just go around collecting balls <laughs> that somehow contain people and entire houses and shit like that. I still don't understand. Like, I'm sure there's probably more to the bracelet that he has, but like, oh my god. Oh god. But yeah, the the the, the VR headsets and working game somehow um is the only it's the only thing I can think of that might compare to her, <laughs> to Meridia's beacon. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for this game for us I'm, I'm uh it's fun but like yeah oh more dark cloud 2 thing okay yeah we only played the first couple of hours of dark cloud 2 or whatever so i do not i do not really remember why is it taking so long Did my memory card like break or something already ah oh, keyblade keyblade could be cool i think but like, just the Keyblade itself. I mean, I guess, like, assuming that, like, the universe is secretly, you know, works that way already, then, yeah. I mean, I guess you would have to say that with, like, any of them, though. So, like, yeah. Yeah, Keyblade would be pretty cool, man. Be a Keyblade Master, especially if you learn how to get, like, the Keyblade Armor, whatever it's called, and travel between worlds and shit like that. Nothing's coming to mind at the moment as far as video game items go. Um, ooh, the uh, the Triforce from Legend of Zelda would be pretty cool. A Pokeball. Give me a freaking Pokeball, man. 
I want to be able to run around, throw it at wild creatures, and then they just listen to me. <laughs> like, if I catch them, you know? Like, <laughs> the giant dodo from Saints Row 3. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Bro, you need to get yourself a girl or something. You are down bad, bro. You're you're always over here looking for mommies and talking about dildos and shit. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. Refresh. Yeah, the memory card says it's working. I uh I don't know what's going on. Maybe the game crashed. I don't know. <laughs> like oh. Yeah, it's not like froze up or anything. So, I mean, I guess just all the more reason to call the stream there since, you know, the game fucking broke. But I can't necessarily blame it on the game, though. I am using an aftermarket memory card. Like, situation right for save corruption. Yeah, I know. That's why, like, I'm a little tempted to just keep giving it time and hope for the best. But at the same time, do I really care about the save for this game anyways? You know, honestly. So, like, if it does happen, whatever. I mean, I could back up the memory card right now. And then, oh no, it won't let me actually. I guess because it's the active memory card, it won't let me back it up. Huh. Whatever. Like I said, not that big of a deal if it does corrupt anyways. It's fine. Who cares? I mean, at the end of the day, we use cheats to unlock everything. So if I wanted to ever play this game in the future, say my brother came over or something like that, and I want to play this game in the future, fuck around with some mini games, I would just use the cheat again to unlock them all. It's like the old Guitar Hero games, you know? <clears throat> How many people actually played through the entire story, campaign, whatever you want to call it, to unlock every song before... Um, like, they just had a party with their friends and whatnot. like. Yeah. I mean, like, I played through the story on those games eventually, but I used the, the cheats first. Gotta go. Have a good one. You too, my guy. Thank you again for stopping out. And uh, see you in a couple days. Wait, you did? For real? <laughs> yeah, no. We used cheats first, finish story second. 100%. Pokeball thing is another thing you tried modding into Wind Waker. That would be really cool, man. Every game needs Pokeballs. <laughs> Like, just just the creature collection aspect of games. I just find that really fun. Collecting creatures, throwing them out, and having them do your bidding and shit. Like, I don't know. It's fun. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pokemon-themed cosmetic mod. Gotta be careful with that one, though. Nintendo gets, uh, they get angry. <laughs> I mean, understandably, you know. Uh, Pokemon is, like, their biggest, one of their biggest IP. Mario might be bigger in a game sense, but Pokemon is the single largest, like, multifaceted, uh, multimedia, um, property in the world. So, like, yeah, the boomerang was remodeled into a Pokeball. That's cool. Anyways. Game's broke. Stream's set to end in like eight minutes anyways. So I think we're going to call it, guys. Excuse me. Um, This drink is very carbonated. Uh, Yeah, no. Thank you all for coming and hanging out, chatting with me and shit. I do appreciate it. Colt, thank you, man. Chocobo, even though you're gone, thank you. Noodle, Optijack, anybody else, thank you. I appreciate you all. Uh, Saturdays, I take off. Sunday, I'm probably going to end up taking off again. We'll see. I don't know for sure what's going to happen Sunday yet. I do definitely want to get back into the Bethesda games eventually, but, like, oh, I've been exhausted lately. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, But for sure, Tuesday, we'll be back. So, yeah. Have a good night, guys. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Chickens over into it more. Oh, do they keep spawning? Nice. Ah, the directions are a little backwards from what I would normally have them be for the camera movement side to side. It's messing me up. Yeah, we can use the chickens to blow up the nitro. 
<laughs> this is this is so rude. <laughs> God, I just need the big tower. Blow up the big tower one. Go that way. That that way? No. Bad chicken. Okay, is there an invert option? Because that is really screwing me up, man. <laughs> 